Hey everybody, welcome back. Okay, <laughs> quick review of what we got. We have dual wield, and I think that's it. All right, just making sure. All right, we've got some fighting going on nearby. I gotta remember to sir. Oh, not the best place to be standing. <laughs> that worked out. <laughs> oh, that worked out nicely. Okay. Let's see if we can kind of creep around this way, maybe? Oh, he's over here now. Ah, right, we shocked him. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, what are we wearing? What could we got? Okay, we got all that covered. That's good. Um, let's take the bow and these arrows here. Okay. All right, let me pick that one up. All right. Ooh, there's an amulet. All right, let's deal with this skull pile. Two attacks coming in. We will put Wand of Torture on the bottom and hope for something good here. Uh-oh. All right, so this is a free evasion. That's helpful, but not very. Let's hope for something very good when we draw this card here. That's not what we were hoping for. Okay, so we're just going to have to do as much damage as we can. Let's go ahead and put the wound on him, too. Alright. Now, that wasn't too terrible. So we only have one attack to worry about this next turn. It is a chill attack, but that's not a problem if we have a decoy, for instance. And we do. So we're going to use that. We actually have two. And there's no armor. But I still want to do as much damage as I can. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of him. Decoy takes care of that. Right, this will give us yet another decoy. That's great. Free potion of burning and another decoy. And just so we can get a wider selection of cards on the next deal, we'll go ahead and get rid of his attack on this turn. Three wounds. And quick shot. There we go. All right, we'll just take those. Duplicate card. Okay. Um, let's go here. Picked up some mushrooms accidentally. Good to know there's an archery target trainer tile here. Don't want those boots, so we will just keep on going. Okay, looking good here. Let's go back to town. Alright, let's identify this amulet and hope that it is useful. No, but it is worth a decent amount of money. 27 gold. Yeah, yeah, that's not too bad. Hmm, still couldn't afford that even if we wanted to get it. That's okay. Same thing for most of the useful stuff here. Well, we could get Chain Spalders. Immune to death and uh, it's helpful, but... Blessed Studded Boots. Now that's probably the way to go right now. So we'll have the Fire Resistance. I don't have enough gold to enchant them a second time. That's okay. And we will get some beer. Excellent. All right. Shop level. Oops. Let's rest real quick. Get that hit point back. Uh... This probably looks worse than it is. Why haven't I picked up a second dagger yet is what I'm wondering, though. We, we're sitting here with dual wield, and I'm not even taking advantage of it. Uh, someone else is fighting. Dire wolf somewhere nearby. 
Also a rat, sounds like. Fine bow, okay. Switch those out real quick. Oh no, a mage. Now I could try hitting him with the bow, but I'm probably gonna miss every shot. And he'll he'll be done with that snail probably in one turn. So instead, I'm gonna stand here. And okay, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna drink some beer, get some divine shield. There we go, I can't believe we actually got him. Chain helm, no, we're good, we're good. But thank you. Bolts. Mm -hmm. Alright, level 5, our second attribute point is going into stamina. that dire wolf. Hey, piece of meat. Now if we run into a dog as opposed to a dire wolf, we can get a companion. Alright, divine shield is gone now. But it did what it was supposed to do. We're gonna eat, rest real quick, get the HP back. And there's a lot of snails in here. Okay. Oh, that's right. Uh, uh, we have the ring that hides us when we take damage. I forgot about that. That's another dire wolf. Okay. And another campfire. What I really want is a well, though. So of course we get the talent point right here. I, I've got to wait. I've got to wait. Now, if we're not... Until we find a dagger, dual wield will benefit us using two hands on a medium weapon. So we're going to switch to this, even though I, I really prefer the dagger. I, I guess we'll just see what kind of damage this does. Maybe I'm wrong. About the same, isn't it? But it doesn't have the chance to shock, of course. Hmm. Might be better off with the dagger right now, anyway. We could technically use both, I think, without a penalty because of the dual wield thing. Let me check. Offhand attacks no longer receive penalties to hit and damage and parry modifier uh, equals to agility bonus modifier instead of one half of it. So, okay. Okay, okay, so we could use both of these. Why not? Why not? Okay, let me make sure we clear this here. Go. Basically, I'm attacking real quickly after we turn hidden, which is why that's having that effect there. But yeah, I really want to find a well so that we can get keen eye because oh man, it's such a weight off your shoulders to not have to search. And of course it saves you. Well it saves me anyway, at least one turn. Like every time I move. Hey, wine, two charges. Very nice. What happened there? We oh it's a trap. Deadly poison and paralytic poison. Luckily we start with a potion of antidote, so that's taken care of. And we took that damage and then became hidden in plain sight. Alright. Sticks. Nothing very useful there. Okay, this guy is preoccupied. Oh, you gotta be kidding me right now. Uh, well, 
I could remain hidden and see if he attacks this. Nah, I don't see how that's too helpful. We'll just get our divine shield, just in case. I don't mind it because we found some wine. We have we have more divine shield waiting for us, so that's okay. All right. Oh, I hope we find a well soon. I really do. Hey, mead. Okay, this is good. This is looking good. Dragonhide armor. Spalders. Fine club, meh. Okay. Alright, skull pile fight. One attack, fire damage. Uh. I'm gonna put block on the bottom here. Okay, so we can get a decoy. Now we don't have to worry about that attack. This is free anyway. Put those three wounds. Do that damage to both of them. Alright, one attack again. But we're gonna have a decoy, so now we don't have to worry about it. Uh, however, we're just gonna stack them up anyway. We might as well. Okay, one attack. They both have armor. Do we get here? Hmm. Well, you know what? Uh, how much armor? This should take care. Of them. Yeah. And there we go. Okay, there is an attack coming, but we still have decoys. I I just want to use this anyway, so we can have more cards on the next turn. Okay. No attack coming this time. Might as well just pop the ring there. And... That. Hopefully we get one more attack. There it is. Very nice. Ring, cool. Tome, cool. Eh. Don't really need the digger. Turn Undead card. You know what? I forgot to turn my Steam notifications back on. <laughs> so I don't know what number that one is. I will I will remember next time. There's an asterisk next to that, by the way, that's what I just said. Okay. Oh man. See, that's why I need Keen Eye, I'm telling you. Alright. Let's go back to town. Alright, first let's go to craft here and give that schematic to them. Fine flail, cool. Alright, this ring. Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. We don't even need Kenai now. We've got it in ring form. That's cursed, so that's obviously no good. Tome. Tome is worth 40. That's cool. And the cursed ring uh, is worth 13. Okay. Sell these bolts for 3. And let's see. Okay, so... Oh, this is so good. This is so good. So glad we found that. All right. As for this one, the height, the Ring of Shadows is not, not very impressive, so I'm thinking maybe we could get something else. Uh, there's a regular Ring of Control, which immune against Charm, Confuse, and Paralyze. That would be great. Blind, Death, and Silence. I know it's very expensive, but I'm doing it anyway. And we're going to sell the Ring of Shadows for 33. And... Ah, oh, so, all right, let's enchant. No, 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 no. Let's craft a fine talon. And then uh, next time when we have more gold, we'll enchant that. But now we're going to be dual wielding with these, which is quite nice. And I don't want to, well, you know what? I will identify it. See how much it's worth. Hey, 20. Made a little gold there. Not bad. All right, back. Yeah, back into the dungeon we go. So now we... Oh, that's great. We don't even need to find the well anymore. That means I can use either... Hmm. I could, I, we could use that other campfire, or I could get literacy common so that we can, re, we can cast spells that are on scrolls. I mean, that seems like it would benefit us greatly, wouldn't it? Especially in, like, clutch situations. I'm going to do this. This is probably stupid, but that's not a surprise coming from me. Okay, so there we go. 
So that's also passive, obviously. Um, so now, uh, I guess, yeah, well, I, they still have to be identified, but then we can read them once they're identified. Okay, I stand by that decision, even if it was a bad one. I stand by it. And I don't have to search anymore because we have that ring. It's not 100% guarantee that we're going to be alright. Perfect timing. But, uh, it gives us, it gives us a chance. Basically what happens is every time I move or I rest, I get a free search action. Normally I do two searches at once, so it's not quite as reliable, which is why we hit that bear trap there. But generally speaking, I can just go like this, like I'm doing now, and not search. Try to, well, I'll try to disarm, maybe. Nah, let's try to jump. Go. Okay. I actually searched there, because that was just a reflex. I didn't search to see that one. Alright, skull pile again. Nine damage right from the get-go. Oh, he's got that strength boost, okay. Okay, we're gonna put the one lizard on the bottom. There's two armor, that's great, and then we're gonna nullify this attack right away. And I, I know it's probably better to hang on to this till there's armor to break, but I'm just gonna do the damage now. All right, now we have two. Oh man, this is not looking good. Let's hope for some decoys with this card here. <laughs> nope. All right. And we're gonna take a a lot of damage here. Oh, the evasion saved us. Okay, okay, that that worked out well. Okay, this will give us a decoy, so we don't have to worry about this attack now. And. He'll die at the end of the turn. Let's stack up some defense there. A potion of burning, damage, and another decoy. Quick shot, wand of torture. Very nice. Alright, he's got three armor. So we need to do seven damage, basically. I don't think we can get there on this turn, but he'll die from the effects here. There we go. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Demonic Visage. We will at one point... Oh, I don't need to keep searching. We will at one point go through the deck and see what's going on with all that stuff. Uh, yeah, he's a bad guy. They're both bad guys. I'm going to lure them over here, hopefully. They eat. I don't know if we're going to need Divine Shield, but I'm going to pop one in anyway. here. Okay, they didn't even come towards me. I got my Divine Shield, I have to keep going. Oh, we're on fire, that's not so good, is it? Um, okay. That's alright, we're going to get another Divine Shield going. I didn't play this one correctly. I really didn't play this one correctly. <laughs> so, what was... It feels like we were taking way more damage than normal. I guess it was just the combination of the Mage and the Arrows. I mean, I mean they could have been fine arrows, it could have been a recurve bow. Alright, that's fine though. That's fine. That was that was a decent run. Chance to instantly kill on this dagger, that is cool. But now we have to search again. Every time we move. Basically. Sometimes we'll steal a step. Hope for the best. Alright, padded boots. Pop those on. Dragon hide gloves. I guess we'll pop those on. I don't know if they're if they count as plate or whatever. Man, we didn't even get to put that literacy to use. You know what would have benefited us though? This heroic charge. Hmm. All right, first attribute point into agility. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
More in studded armor, no thanks. Alright, now we have talent point. We'll hold on to that for now. Just gonna give one shot at trying to disarm that. Nah, not gonna risk it beyond that. Alright, so this is where we're going to end this episode. As always, thank you very much for hanging out. I appreciate that very much. Please hit like and subscribe if you would like to, and I'll see you all next time.